Why the hell they call you feed them? I just feed them. <laughs> all just power. <laughs> feed them. So, Kizzle, what's been going on with you? Nothing much. Just trying to finish up school and get out of here. Okay. In that order. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Well, you know, as every day we have, I mean, just one topic or another. Today is the topic. You know, we kind of debated this. We went this way and that way. But I think we decided on when we're going to do hip hop and drugs. What you feel about that, feed them? Let's feed them. <laughs> For sure. Hey, it's a it's a trend now going on because, you know, I'm older. I'm older than most of y'all sitting here and a lot of our viewers, uh, listeners, I guess. Um, I remember growing up, I mean, of course you had references to drugs and alcohol and songs, but it wasn't this blatant. Um, you know, and the biggest consumer of this music are, of course, young African-Americans. True. You know, um, what do you feel about that? Um, personally, I feel as if all hip hop now has to do with drugs, and this is just our generation. That's all our mu- our music is consumed with: drugs, money, cars, clothes. In that order. Yes, in that order. Yeah. Well, me, I feel personally. I just feel like you know, white people know, or the entertainment business knows that. What we put out, that young black kid is going to go and get it and then spread it to the other black kids. So it's like we killing ourselves every day, whether it's with the drugs or with the clothes that they do. It's all things that they put out there just to help us spend our money and cause us to do, you know, what they want us to do. We follow the profile. So with the drugs, yeah, I got my nine-year-old son riding in the car and I'm jamming. Whatever it may be. Double cups and mollies or something. <laughs> yeah. So basically what you're saying, feed them, that it's a conspiracy? Basically. Well, you know, I mean, that cons- um, that sentiment has been tossed around the industry for for a while. But at the same time, man, you got to, you know, we got to take personal responsibility for the things that we do. You know, I mean, is it enough for us to go out here and make this music and make hundreds of thousands of maybe even millions of dollars, you know, to feed our families? Or do we have that bigger that bigger responsibility to our own communities. Well, I feel like for the entertainment business, it's all wrong just for the simple fact that a lot of them guys ain't never had to do what they talking about. They ain't never had to sell no drugs. They ain't never had to do none of that. They ain't killing nobody. They might kill a thousand people in a verse and they ain't never held a gun in their life. It's like they just saying things because they think that's what we want to hear and we go and buy it. So, of course, it's going to sell. You know, it's moving. We even, we we mixing it. We ain't even got to steal. We ain't even got to buy it no more. We getting it from the mixtape people for the cheap price. We still buying it. You know so, what it kind of reminds me of, though? It kind of reminds me of back in the day when they called them things, the minstrel shows. You know, they dress us up, you know, shuck and jive. You know, and you know, we I mean, out there putting on the act, and the whole time that we um that that we actually killing ourselves. And I mean, and uh, and this whole time is I can't lie, I can't lie. Some of my favorite artists, you know, they are heavy into, you know, drugs and alcohol in their music too. But I feel like it's different for me because um, I have the common sense to just say no. So how can we raise a national just say no campaign while we got the enemy on the airwaves every day? You know, it's just say yes. You know, pop one, you know, roll one, you know, you know, turn up. You know, that's one of my favorite terms in a way, but turn up, you know. I mean, how can you combat that? It's not possible. Not at all. It's not possible. It's pumped too many different places. On the TV, on the radio station, it's everywhere. You can't. You it's, it's you you put one you put one I don't just say no to drug commercial on every three days, but you got drugs on twenty four seven. Do this, do that drug, new drugs popping up every day. So, you know, how could you combat it? How can you combat something that the government put in everywhere? I mean, so so basically, do you think that the, the government should try to come in and, and regulate it? And, and, and they, well, I know there's, there's such thing called the First Amendment, but, you know, it, it's, it's getting to the point now where that 
whole generations of, of youth are dying off now, you know. It used to be that, you know, you go out there and fight, you live another day, not, now, and then they went to jumping on people, now they went to shooting people, and now, it, I mean, I don't know where it's going to go because they're not going to be born because all these drugs and alcohol they own is going to lead to birth defects, miscarriages, and things of that na um, nature, and we're steadily shrinking our own race, you know. So, I mean, is it, I mean, is it possible that we reach out to the artists and say, hey, Kanye, watch what you say, man, you know. Hey, Jeezy. Hey, take it easy, you know? I don't think that they would take it easy if they already made plenty of millions of dollars from already talking about <clears throat> drugs and guns and alcohol and whatnot. Why stop now? Maybe they think that they would fall off if they did that. I mean, the media plays a big role in everything that we think. Everything. Everything. The media. Feed them. <laughs> it's the media. The same way we're having this show right now, we're relaying a message. We're this the media. Well, Whether I'm, it's art, music, internet, books, magazines, you're gonna see it. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, you're right about that, but it's, a, but you know, I, I feel a personal responsibility to to communicate the right message. Um, so I guess it's all it boils down to personal accountability. And so I mean, it's like okay, like take for example, um, you buy a product in the store, to, to, and and the product causes you to get hurt. You as a consumer can go and sue. The manufacturer. Now, do you think that that uh, that the music world will change if people start suing the um, the record labels, just like they sue the cigarette companies? You what know, you, because what you, you going to sue the record label for? Though? Because they they because they're responsible for putting this out. But who is responsible for listening to it? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That same okay. That same argument. That same argument. Why sue the cigarette companies? I wouldn't sue a cigarette company. But but it's been done. The precedent's been set. Yeah, it, it has been. I mean, why sue a company for selling you what you wanted to buy? You feel me? So, I mean, I believe the president has been set. You know, it, it's time to start holding people accountable. Just like if you go out there and do something wrong, you know, I mean, you're going to be held accountable. I mean, not saying that I want this massive government intrusion you know on our freedom do? of speech. You know what they do? They desensitize us. They give us a little bit of something every once in a while. And then they hit us with something big because we done got used to the little bit of like they've been feeding us. You feel me? It's just like it's anything. You can even with the violence, they desensitize us. You feel me? They put it in the video games, real soft, Duck Hunt, Mario Brothers. We jumping on heads at first. You feel me? And then a little few years later, San Andreas come out. Now we shoot, and then you got people on TV having you got you got cartoons having sex for drugs. You feel me? They got X <laughs> all over the video games now. See what I'm saying? It's like. Oh, I'm gonna give you this little bit. I'm gonna show you this, and then they just hit you with something big. Now they just hit us with six, six, six Boulevard. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. So yeah. you know, I mean, speaking <laughs> on the same topic, I can remember back in the days when they didn't even say "damn" on the TV. Come on, man. I mean, I, I look how far it's come. If you turn on X, if, if there was that channel FX, you're gonna hear every word in the book nowadays. Except the F word. I mean, no, they say it on FX. On oh, what's the name of that show? Um, I'm not plugging them, but Breaking Bad, they say it. Yeah, I don't watch too much TV. Yeah, well, you know. But anyway, we're Sports. gonna take a quick break, right quick. You know, get to the music, um, and I can guarantee you, it wanna be about no drugs, no alcohol, maybe a little sex because we grown up in here. But you know, no drugs, no alcohol. Hey, this is us at that damn radio show. We'll be right back at you in a minute. Peace. Feed them out.